See what it is, man. Shade 4 5, Chinese kid in the building. Meow. It's going down, man. DJ Taj, the heavy hitters. Boy ain't mine out Boy now. Boy ain't mine out now. Yes, sir. DJ, DJ Taj, Taj, we outside. We outside. You see what it is, man. Chinese kitty, the heavy hitters. We out here. You see what it is, man. DJ, DJ Taj. <laughs> we outside. <laughs> now we're at the same time. Heavy hitters, sucker. You know the vibes, man. It's Shade 4 5, the heavy hitters on a Monday. DJ Taj. We got a special guest in the building tonight. Chinese Kitty is in the building. Meow. <laughs> you from New York City? Yes. I'm from motherfucking Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Yeah. How was it growing up out there in BK? Do they call it BK or is it just, just Brooklyn? Yeah, people call it BK. Some BK. people call it Brooklyn. Right. But I would say it made me the girl, the thorough girl, the real bitch that I am today. Yeah? Yeah. Who was you bumping on your come up like when you was younger? Oh, Nicki Minaj. So would you say, like, being from New York, like, does that play, like, a role in your sound of music? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because I feel like my voice, my tone is just that, you know? Yeah. Thorough. I don't know. But it's like, I have in-between voices, mm. but mine's is just more a little bit deeper tone. I feel like that's just a New York thing, a hard thing. And then what did you, like, like right now, your name is Chinese Kitty. A lot yes. of people be asking, like, where that name came from? Uh, I'm half Chinese. And growing up, I don't know, I was mysterious. I was always mysterious, so people would always call me Kitty or I'm like a cat. Mm. So I had like literally just made a Twitter one day and I was like playing with names and I made that name. And then I started posting on Instagram and just kept the same name. So it just came I tried to change it to Taylor Hing and people was like, You crazy, you gotta keep that name. Nah, that Chinese like, Kitty is it though, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I like that. We rock with that. <laughs> That's funny, but yeah. So right now you got a new single out right now, going mm -hmm. crazy all over the net. Mm -hmm. Boy ain't mine. Yes. So talk to me about this song right now. Is that title self explanatory? It's so self explanatory. Honestly, it just was a story that was based on true events that I made into a song. About a dude that was trying to play me and mm. another girl at the same time. And, you know, it broke my heart, but I got something good out of it. So We're here now. We're here now. Boy ain't mine. Boy ain't mine right now, man. Chinese kid in the building. Let me yeah. ask you a question. What you like doing better? You like creating music or mm -hmm. performing music? Creating. I'll always say creating. Why? Because it's the process. It's the hearing a beat. Coming up with a flow, getting in the booth and like putting it together. It's like watching a little art piece just mm. come together and then you create something that's like a special moment, you know? You know what I think is dope though? Because I always ask artists that question and mm. I get different answers. Mm. So, like what you just said just now, I think that's dope because a lot of artists tell me performing because they be wanting to see the crowd singing their mm. words and joy. You know what that's I mean? true too. But for me, I love the creative process. Gotcha. Yeah. So, right now, let me ask you this What's next for you? What's next for Chinese Kitty is I'm just going to be taking over 2023 period. Yeah. Full Chinese Kitty artist mode, dropping 100 singles back to back to back, no stopping, going full throttle. You dropped that lit, bitch. I think that was like last year. Yeah. Was that last year? Nah, that was like 2020. Two years ago? Exactly. Damn, time flying by yeah. quick. When you dropped that, everybody was rocking with that song. Yeah. Shout out to Fabi. I know Fabi was on. Who else was on that show? And French. And French. Shout out to French Montana, my brother. Yes. So let me ask you this question. Can we be expecting any singles with any features? With features? Absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. It's already in the tuck. Just waiting. Right. So without telling me the answer to that, right? <laughs> I'm low-key going to get it out of it. Without telling me the answer to that, is there any artists that you want to work with down the line that's on your to-go list that you haven't collaborated with yet? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I want to I wanna fire New York female song with, like, me, Ice Spice, Lola Brooke. Mm. I feel like that would go crazy. You did sound like that before. Dot box, but Dot those box. was with different, different from different. Um, oh, that wasn't in New York. That was like that anywhere. was yeah, Atlanta. Yeah. Mulatto was on that. Yeah, Mulatto, um, Dream Doll, different people from the Bronx. But I feel like it was different people. So I want some like New York shit. Yeah, I think that'd be dope. Honestly. I think that's fire though. We're gonna speak yeah. that to existence. Yeah. So right now, man, I want to say congratulations to all your success. You've been doing your thing thank for a you, long thank time. You. Thank you. Know you. What I mean? Thank you. Going Taj. crazy y'all here, and I'm gonna tell you this, right? I had did a Jersey remix to to the lip, to lip bitch. bitch. I be rocking that shit and playing for my friends. No cap. When I tell I you, swear. all the females they start shaking their ass soon. Yes. Soon as that joint come on, I instantly. gotta make that my next little TikTok. We gotta do stuff with that. Yeah, we do. We definitely do. ASAP, man. Chinese yeah. Kitty, appreciate you coming on the show tonight. Thank you so much, Taj. You know the vibes, man. It's Shade Four Five. Shout the L President. They DJ enough. Shout the Ron Mills. All right. You know the vibe. DJ Taj, the heavy hitters.